You know that feeling that grabs you when you find yourself a little bit elevated? When you need that one dish that has just the right amount of culinary chaos. We're hitting the streets, searching high and low to bring you the best places with the dopest dishes. Welcome to 420 Eats. With 33 states that have legalized medical marijuana and 10 that currently have recreational use, I'm sure a few of you know what it's like out there to be a little bit medicated and need tacos in your life. When I have that urge, there's one thing that comes to the forefront of my mind, and that's taco trucks. Now, if I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma, there's one truck I hit in particular to get that taco with a certain amount of culinary chaos, and that is the rub truck. Located along what is known as the Mother Road, Fuel 66 is a food truck park with a full service bar and a ton of communal seating. Chef Joel Bine and the Rub Truck can be found posted up there every Tuesday serving up a unique fusion of foods and in the process changing everything you thought you knew about tacos. From a grilled steak topped with pickled cactus to a pulled pork mole to a Korean short rib, this cat is redefining everything about taco life. And on top of all of his other crazy creations, Chef Joel's even got a pastor pork belly taco up his sleeve that is currently the reigning champ of the taco throwdown that's held every summer in Oklahoma. Okay, so you're the reigning champ in this taco throwdown. So three years in a row. <laughs> Three's a magic number, man. Let's make it four. That's so right. here we go. So tell us about the, uh, the taco throwdown. What's going on with there? So the taco throwdown, I've done the same taco three years in a row. I'll tell my competitors what I'm doing. They still can't fade it. I do this pastor pork belly. I'll cure the pork belly, then smoke it, then chop up and braise it. It's a three to five day process depending on how long it takes. And they can't fade it. Nobody can touch it. Can't touch it. So we're going to do one here in the summertime. Then I'm doing one in de Mayo in Oklahoma City. So the Oklahoma City it. guys that we crushed, they said, okay, try it on our home turf, so we're bringing it to them. Here we go, Oklahoma City. Joel has created some taco recipes that are totally outside of the box. Plus, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve when it comes to the small details that have his grub on the next level. Throw some tortillas down on there. Yes, sir. So this is a common mistake I see people make all the time with tacos, and it drives me crazy. Grill that shit. You got to grill those tortillas or else it falls apart. There you have it from the man, grill that shit. From grilling his tortillas to his own signature rub seasoning, Joel is bringing it at you strong. What you got going on the grill there, Joel? All right, so right here we've got some thinly sliced steak. Let's season it up with our rub seasoning, get that grilled up real quick. Then we will chop it up to make some steak tacos for these folks right here. So these gets the steak, we grill it up, chop it up, then it gets a pickled cactus queso fresco, and Mexi Mix. Super bomb. These babies are far from a fast food chain taco. Like you haven't had a steak taco until you've had a rub truck steak taco. Give the steak a quick chop. Yeah, so the steaks, we got the grilled steak. Always comes with an order of three. Yes, sir. Well, most of the time. Sometimes I'll get smaller tortillas and do orders of five, but it's still, you get about the same amount either way. Just for looks, you know? All right, so we get those cactuses in there. Now, which taco is this? This is the pulled pork mole. So we started off with like a traditional style pulled pork, then hit it with our mole, let it simmer together, shred it up, hit it with the Mexi Mix and queso fresco. And put a little cilantro in here and get these things out the door. So, are you guys ready this year down on Taco Tuesday? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Big fan of Joel? Yes. What'd you guys order tonight? We ordered the, the uh, mole, the pork the mole, pork. and steak. 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 Is that what you go to for every time? No. No, this no. is new. This is a new one for you, huh? What do you guys give it? One out of five stars, what do you give it? Five. A five? Yeah. You're gonna agree on that? <laughs> yeah, we, we split them up. <laughs> you can do a little taste test of each yeah. other's? Yeah. All right, good yeah. deal. So uh, if anybody's looking for the best tacos in Tulsa, where are you gonna tell them to go? Here at Fuel 66 on Tuesday. Fuel 66, you when gotta Joel's get- When Joel's doing Taco Tuesdays. Yeah. When Joel's doing Taco Tuesday, huh? Yeah. All right, you guys enjoy your dinner. We really appreciate your time. You guys 
keep coming out here and supporting Joel, and we'll see you next time, okay? All right. That's where you get it, folks. Fuel 66 in Tulsa, Joel Bine and the Rub Truck make it happen. The majority of people we ran across during our visit were repeat customers of the Rub Truck, which should tell you just how badass this dude's tacos really are. Are you a regular here at the Rub Truck? I am very much. Is this the place to go for tacos right now? It is. He's gone through many iterations of multiple tacos that I've loved. And what's your favorite one that he does up? Uh, either the lamb or the Korean short rib. Right on, right on. So are you, are you getting out here every Tuesday or as many Tuesdays as you can? As many Tuesdays as I can. Right on, okay. Joel, you got a, a big thumbs up from this dude? That's my dude. That's his dude. You guys heard it, man. John's recommending this place. Get yourself to Fuel 66, man, on a Tuesday. See Joel and get you some tacos. When we chose the rub truck for an episode of 420 Eats, it was for one reason in particular. While during our research, it seemed that everybody we asked recommended the same thing. Get this, Joel's Korean short rib tacos. All right, so now I'm gonna make you guys these badass Korean barbecue tacos. So That's what I'm talking start about. Start off with the tortillas on the grill like we did last time. Then the meat takes a little while longer because I marinated, then grill it, then throw it in some more marinated chill. Okay. So the meat's pretty much ready to go. I just gotta pull it on, chop it up, but we gotta get our char on the tortillas first. That's always the first step. I'm not gonna lie, after everything that we had heard about these Korean short rib tacos, we were stoked to get our hands on an order of them. I mean, who doesn't love A, barbecue, and B, tacos? You combine the two and you've got the makings of something that is totally epic. I mean, we're talking grilled short ribs that have been twice marinated in Korean barbecue sauce. These have just the right amount of Asian heat coming at you. The meat is topped with kimchi. Yeah, you heard me right. Kimchi. Joel worked with a local outfit named Scissor Tail Provisions to come up with this specific flavor profile for his tacos. This is what sends him completely off the chain. That part, right? Right. Then here comes the magic. That's the Some of the kimchi. There's the money. And your kimchi is made specifically for you, your recipe. Well, it's not specifically my recipe, but we worked on the flavor profile with Sizzle Tail Provisions, so that way we could get it just the way I needed it to fit the profile for my tacos. Cilantro and onion? Yeah, so the Mexi makes is cilantro, jalapeno, onion, lime juice, and some seasonings. Okay, so it's uh, pickled a little bit. Yeah, it's basically like, it's like a pico without the tomatoes. Right on. So boom, there you go. Korean have. short rib tacos from this dude. Money. Money. Cheers, brother. Cheers. <laughs> so good. You wish you were me right now. Right now. Get this guy's tacos in your life. Make it happen. No. <laughs> Man, the beef just overwhelms you a little bit, but it's got a little bit of that heat to it from the jalapeno that's in there. The onion set it off, the cilantro tops everything off. These are completely off the chain. So if you're in Tulsa, Oklahoma, or you ever find yourself there, and you want tacos that are a total game changer, you're gonna need to know how to find Chef Joel in the rub truck. All right, Joel, let's say people wanna find you on social media so they can find out where you got the truck at. How do they do that? The best way to find us is on Facebook. Look up Rub, look at the symbol right here. You'll find us on uh, Instagram. We're at the Rub Truck. We're at the Rub Truck on Twitter too. We suck at Twitter. We're not that great on the Instas, but we post up and you can always find us on Facebook if we're doing something public. There you have it. If you wanna find the Rub Truck, get on Facebook and get it in your life. So that's it for our premiere episode. If you guys want some good food, some cold beer, get yourself down to Fuel 66 on a Tuesday. Find Joe Vine in the rub truck, all right? Until next time, you guys get out there and enjoy some elevated eating. We'll see you on the next 420 Eats.